orientation lecture for the Introduction to Philosophy, the Philosophy 100 course. My name is Roger, Roger Foster, and I'm in the Department of Social Science uh, at the Borough of Manhattan Community College, where I teach. Um, and in this introductory lecture, I'm just going to talk you through some of the important things that you're going to need to know um, for starting this course, for particularly uh, the early things that we have to do to, to get ready for the course, and I'll explain to you um, what those things are that you have to focus on before week one actually begins and we actually get into the material. And I'll talk to you about what we're going to be reading, what we're going to be focusing on, uh, the assignments, so um, and how the course is basically going to work, the setup on Blackboard. So really everything you, you need to know, I'll talk you through um, in this orientation. All right, so this may be your first online course. You may have taken a number of online courses be before, but it's, it's wh whatever your status, it's really important to, to do a check before the start of the semester and make sure that you're still exercising good habits about how you study, about the, the circumstances in which you study, um, and that you're, you're still doing these, these core habits that, that make an online student successful. So especially if, if you're if you're new or, or you're not particularly experienced at taking online courses, um, but also if, if you have experienced, um, it's important to do a check and make sure that you're still exercising these practices. So these, these things really help to succeed, uh, really help you to succeed as an online student. Things like setting aside a specific time for schoolwork, reaching out to your instructor for help, and I'll be having online office hours twice a week I'll explain to you how that works and how to find uh, how to find the login information build relationships with your peers make sure you reach out to other people in the course um, find out about if there's anything they know that you don't build relationships work together help each other um, check your online course daily is I think a really important um, and uh, you know a really valuable suggestion. Um, it's you have to check in on a on a regular basis. So I, I'd say three times a week um, is an absolute minimum. I would certainly recommend more than that. Um, and and checking in and seeing you have to check in to see the assignments. You know to check in to complete the assignments. Um, you're checking to complete the quiz and find out. Um, what's going on on the discussion board and um, you'll check in to do your reply post but I'll talk about those things in a moment. Um, so plan out your semester is another good um, another good piece of advice make sure you um, make sure you have a have a sense of when you're going to do the work um, set aside that specific time and plan out week by week um, what it's going to look like. Focus on learning, not memorizing, right? It's not memorizing information we're, we're looking to learn. And especially as I'll talk about, this is a philosophy class uh, and I'm looking, I'm looking to see um, evidence of, of you analyzing the material, trying to make sense of, of it and interpret the material and also critical thinking um, about what you're reading is a really crucial part of philosophy. So um, it's, it's really about the learning element that's important here. Um, and resources are available to you. There's uh, there's a bunch of resources on Blackboard you, you'll see. Um, and so we'll, we'll uh, I'll talk you through some of those things as we go through. All right, so the syllabus is um, on Blackboard, as you'll see, it's on the Blackboard site. I'm not gonna talk you through the whole thing here, but just to give you um, a couple of pointers of, of where to look. As you notice uh, on, the on the front of the syllabus, it has my office hours and I'll, I'll come back to that, but they're Tuesday to Friday, three to 4.30 um, and they're on Skype and you'll see my Skype name and Skype ID um, on, this, uh, on this syllabus. So there's a course description here you can read through in, in your leisure, but you'll find the really important things here are about developing, <coughs> excuse me, constructing arguments, developing skills of analysis to read philosophical texts, 
um, and using and using those skills to, to to sort of to get into the text to ask critical questions, um, learning from different perspectives, and learning how to read a complex text is something that we focus on, especially um, in this introductory class where you're just getting the hang of how to read philosophy, of how it, of how a text works. So building those skills that are going to really enable you to read well, not just in philosophy, but in any any college course, whether reading uh, any humanities or social science course, whether reading is demanding and calls on you to interpret the material. All right, you'll also see on the syllabus the evaluation and requirements of students, uh, which sets out how I'm going to grade you for this course. And you'll see the, the, the main things here. There are weekly segments, the discussion board contribution, uh, which includes reply to classmates, uh, the blog, which is another weekly thing, and the quiz, which, which is also weekly. And then, so those are the weekly elements. And then we have three essay type exams based on the three modules of the course, as we'll see. Um, so you'll receive three grades for the discussion board and three grades for, the, for your blog. That means that the first grade will be on the first module, uh, the second grade will be on the second module of the course, and the third grade will be on the third module. So there are three modules um, in this course, as you'll see, uh, and there will be a grade for the discussion board and the blog for each one of those modules. Let me show you the course map as well. This is a very important uh, document along with the syllabus. And both of these uh, you'll find when you log into Blackboard, um, as you'll see, as a no doubt you've seen already. So this, the course map really breaks down the course uh, for the 15 weeks of the course, starting prior to August the 31st, which is week zero. <coughs> Excuse me, and, and here it's important to do the the setup things and you'll see those marked here in week zero you have to do an introduction on the discussion board you have to set up your blog and you have to post uh, your blog url on the discussion board um, in the blogs uh, in the blogs forum so there's a number of things to do um, again that's sort of finding the textbooks and getting hold of the textbooks is another thing um, for, for week zero so um, and sort of orienting finding your orientation around the course, of course, you, you'll use that time before week week one begins and we start um, reading the material to, to do that. So the course map shows you exactly what you have to do when we start the actual course material in week one. Um, it gives you the due dates, when things are due for the discussion board, the blogs and the quizzes. Um, so you, you'll find uh, it's important to sort of follow the document week by week making sure you keep them up with the due dates, making sure um, that, that you're keeping up with all the work on a weekly basis. Um, and that's really important when you're doing a course like this. It's, it's an asynchronous course, meaning that you don't need to log in uh, at any specific time during the day. Um, you can do the lectures in, in your own time, but you have to complete the, the work on a weekly basis and you have to make sure the things are completed by the due dates the weekly due dates that are given in the course map. So those due dates are usually Sundays and Saturdays, the end of the week, but make sure you check the course map and see what needs what needs to be completed for the week and set yourself a plan to make sure that you complete those things um, before the due date at the end of the week. Okay, so here's the required texts. Um, for this course corresponding to our three modules. We'll start off reading The Republic of Plato. Make sure you get the translation by Alan Bloom, uh, which is the translation we use. And it's very different to the, every translation is different. So it's important to get the right one. Um, so this is uh, The Republic of Plato translated by Alan Bloom. And we'll be starting off uh, in week one with this book. And we'll be, we'll be focusing on, on this book. Um, and the philosophy of Plato when we start the course. The second book is Essays on Civil Disobedience. Um, and this is the, 
This is a book, I, um, and it's edited by Bob Blaise, Blaisdell. It's very small and uh, um, and thin, and it's not too expensive. So that's what we're going to be focusing on on the second part of the course. And then finally, in the philosophy of tragedy, uh, we'll be looking at that when we turn in the third part of the course, the third module to discuss tragedy, and we'll be reading the philosophy of tragedy by Julian Young. So all of these uh, books are, are required. We are going to be using them and working closely with them when we work through the material. Um, so it's important to get hold of them. All right, so you'll see there's information for creating a blog um, and, and it's your responsibility to create a blog and post the URL um, on the discussion board forum. Um, and if you look in um, course information, you'll see this. Um, I'm sorry, in course materials, you'll see um, that I've posted this material, this um, information on how to create a blog with some options here. Um, and the options here are WordPress, Tumblr, and Blogger. If you wish to use a different blog, that's fine. Um, just post the URL, and as long as it's visible to me, <clears throat> excuse me, and everybody else, that's that's perfectly fine. Um, so you can use one of these if, if you prefer to use your own, it's fine to do that. As, like I said, as long as it's visible, just again, send me the URL, put it on the, on the blogs forum on the discussion board. Um, and then what I, I will do is I will add your blog URL to the blogs list um, th that's on the discussion board. And you'll see that here um, that, uh, that we'll be using this blogs link to um, collect everybody's blogs and I'll post all the blog links on there and we'll be able to sort of have a we'll have a blog roll we'll be ha we'll be able to read through the blogs and learn from uh, each other's comments and see um, what what we're all kind of finding with regards to the reading all right so in assignments you'll see everything that's that you're going to need for um, you know, completing the, the relevant tasks in the course. So like I said, on a regular basis, it's going to be these three things. So this is what, what you'll see at first, the blogs, the quizzes, and the discussion board. Um, and if you click on these folders, you'll see there's a list of, of blog prompts. Um, if, if you prefer to focus on your own thing in the blog, that's OK. The blog is much more exploratory. Um, you, you know, if you want to ignore my prompt and do your own thing, um, I'm pretty much OK with that as long as it's about the material and you're focusing on the material that we're reading for that particular week. Um, the, the quizzes, again, will be, a, a, like I said, a weekly thing um, and you'll log in there to do the quizzes and the discussion board prompts um, you'll see there. So the discussion board prompts are more like a class sort of exercise. Um, where you'll be posting on the discussion board and replying to, to others. And the discussion board is, is where I take the sort of student participation for the week. Um, so it's really important to complete that task as it shows you're sort of in class, you're present and you're doing the work. So if, if you're not sort of present on the discussion board, um, it's like you're not present in class, you're not really participating, you're not really there. Um, so it's really important to have that presence and participation in the class and to be learning um, at the same time as everybody else and to be completing the work um, on, on a weekly basis, on the weekly schedule, and the same as everybody else to maximize your learning and also to maximize the learning of the class. So I, you know, that sort of collective learning idea I think is very important. Um, and it's, it's important online as well as in the classroom that we learn together in the same at the same pace and we sort of share our ideas and interpretations and learn from each other. So that's still very important in an online class. It's just that we do that online instead of in the classroom. OK, so the weekly schedule when you when you sort of plan out how you're going to do the um, how you're going to complete the material for this class on a week by week basis. The, the weekly schedule usually looks like this. Um, so there, there will be two readings 
um, those, and it's it's chapter one and chapter two, or you know two readings on um, Gandhi, Martin Luther King, or whatever we're reading. Um, so that's really the first thing to to complete is is to do the two readings um, that, like I said, are usually due not not in every case because once we start doing the exams and things, you know, things get a bit. Um, Things get a bit more, more messy, but this is the usual um, the usual format. So for each reading, there's a video lecture uh, in course materials for that week. So for each week, you'll have two readings and two video lectures, um, which are the you're completed in, in that order. You'll do the readings and then watch the video lectures, um, taking notes and sort of gathering um, sort of gathering your interpretation, sort of trying to figure out what's happening and, and what's working and what makes sense. And so from from those from those two readings and those two video lectures, um, you'll then go on to complete the assignments. So there'll be a discussion board post and a blog post. Uh, one of one of those will probably be they'll probably be on one of the lectures each. So there'll be a blog post about one of the readings, a discussion board post about the other one. Um, and the quiz will will pick up on all of the readings and all of the material that we've looked at for that week. So the quiz will be about everything um, in that week, both the readings um, and the, the, the material in the video lectures um, and, and, and everything else. So so that's sort of your schedule for a week. So think about that when, when you plan and when you sort of plan out uh, your week and what it's going to look like, you have to you have to get the reading done. You have to do the video lectures. You have a discussion board post, a blog post, and a quiz. Uh, in the discussion board post, of course, there's also the reply to a classmate. Um, and so, so there's some sub substantial things to, to do. Um, for the discussion board posts, the, the requirements are that it has to be a minimum of 100 words, um, which is not really a huge requirement when you actually get down to, to writing it. Um, and of course, it must be sort of relevantly based on the material for that week. Um, when you do a reply to a classmate, again, make sure it's substantive and that it picks up on what their post was talking about. Um, you know, don't don't just keep it very sort of um, banal, like nice job, well done, I enjoyed that, etc. I mean, of course, encouraging comments are great, and you should post those too. Um, but in your reply post, make sure that you pick up on the substance um, of what your classmate is arguing in their post and make sure you bring something of substance to the table when you post. OK, so so the discussion board post is is, like I said, a bit more focused than the blog post um, in the blog post. I'm, a, I'm, I'm um, um, more comfortable with with you sort of doing your own thing and, and you know, sort of exploring your own thoughts a bit more. Um, obviously, it's still be re related to the material, but it can be a bit more exploratory. OK, so discussion board posts are due by Saturday. Replies to a classmate on the discussion board, blogs and quizzes are due on Sunday, which is the end of, of the week for us. So the due date for each item, so Saturday for the discussion board, for example, items are due by 11.59 on the due date by the end of the day. So as long as you post by 11.59 p.m. on the due date, um, that means you've, you've got it in on time and you've completed that assignment. So along with the weekly discussion board posts, blog posts, um, and the the quiz. There will be three essay type exams, and these will be two, a two hour exam on the three course modules. So Plato's Republic, the first module, civil disobedience, the second, and the philosophy of tragedy. Um, so these are essay type exams, meaning that there will be um, there will be three questions which will ask you to um, elaborate and sort of show your knowledge on what you've learned on these on these areas. Um, they're not um, the, the quizzes are more sort of focused knowledge. The exams will give you a chance in a kind of more um, open writing setting to sort of demonstrate your knowledge to write about what you've learned on these questions. 
Um, so we, we'll have one of these exams at the end of each course module, the Republic, Civil Disobedience, um, and the Philosophy of Tragedy. <clears throat> and you'll find the due dates are already um, in the course map. Uh, you, you'll see how that's aligned with, uh, with the different weeks of the course. Okay, so when you when you begin, when you log into course assignments, you see what, week one, um, you'll see this is what it looks like. And so the video lectures here, there's the two video lectures are usually at the top um, of the of the folder. And here we have video lecture book for Republic book one and the video lecture for the Republic book two. There's an extra task in um, the in week one, which is the introduction to the Republic video lecture as, as well. This is very important and it will give you some important background um, on Athenian society, which will make the book, I think, much more interesting and also give you a better sense of what it's doing and also give you a better sense of how it's relevant and how it will become relevant for us today and how some of the, the questions that it touches on are the central questions of democracy and democratic life. Um, and so we'll, we'll, we'll get into that as we proceed um, and we'll start that here in week one. So do the introduction to the Republic lecture first, then you can do the, you can do the reading uh, for books one and, one and two, then you can do the Republic video lecture for book one, the lecture for book two, um, and go on to complete the discussion board, the blog and the quiz for this week. You'll see after the um, after the lectures, there's some um, there's some other supplementary material. Um, this isn't always it, it isn't necessary material. You, you don't have to go through and look at this. Um, it's often important background material. Sometimes I'll use this in the lectures and you can sort of look at it here in your own time um, and I'll refer to it. Sometimes it's kind of relevant for what the lectures are talking about. Um, so you can use that, you know, you can sort of use these materials to, to sort of build your understanding um, if you have time to look at some of these supplementary things um, that are in the folders. They're all sort of to help you get a sense of of what's at stake in this reading um, and its sort of relevance for us today. Okay, just a reminder, as I said, my office hours are Tuesday and Friday on Skype. Um, my Skype details are on the syllabus. They're also in my in the Roger Foster folder on Blackboard, um, which is a, a, a left hand side button, as you'll see. Um, so you'll see my information there. So if you if you contact me on Skype, um, it's very easy and we can you know, you can come to the virtual office hours on Tuesday and Friday. Just log in and sort of talk about um, whatever you whatever you want to discuss. If you're having problems or if you just want to talk about the course, um, you just want to go through some of the things that, that maybe you're not getting. Um, that's what the office hours are for. So they're, they're yours to use. So um, it's up to you to make use of them. And finally, um, good luck. I hope this is a rewarding uh, and worthwhile semester for you. And I look forward to seeing you, you all and interacting with, with you all in the online setting. <laughs>